Hey guys! Oh my gosh, it has been so long. I am so excited to get back into doing my YouTube videos and to show you guys some stuff. So, wow, it's been a minute. Um, the last time I did a video for you guys was actually, <coughs> sorry my voice, um, was with Aaliyah and she was literally so small, so this is awesome. But yeah, I just wanted to come on here and do a little video of my must-haves for four, four, Lord Jesus be with me, um, for zero to three months because yeah, we're already at, Aaliyah's already three months old, so I have quite a few things that I'm like, oh my gosh, I need like to do this video before I forget like what I needed the first three months because now that she's three months, it seems like we're just getting more stuff like different things that we didn't need before we're starting to kind of accumulate so I'm like okay I need to get this video done um yeah Ali is already three months old you guys I can't even if you follow me on Instagram you know but like the girl's going fast so this is crazy um but yeah I wanted to just jump on and do a zero to three months um what I feel like I needed so bad and I'm so happy that I had um because yeah these are definitely like essentials for me um that I used the first three months of her life so yeah let's just jump right in okay so the first thing where's my phone um I just made a list because I was like I don't want to forget anything um and it's crazy because the more that I thought about things and there's a couple things that I'm gonna have to wait to show you guys um in a sec because she's sleeping right now so there's a couple things that are in the room that I wasn't able to grab like I'm not gonna grab her bassinet right now while she's asleep so um yeah I'm just gonna start with these things then I'll just jump in a different clip and show you guys the other things like the car seat the car seat cover that kind of stuff so um, the first thing obviously that I think is essential is a diaper bag. Um, mine's a little bit Gucci. Um, I mean bougie. <laughs> okay, bye. Um, it's this cute one. I've showed it before in my baby shower, um, haul or I think, I don't know which one I did if I did, um, baby shower haul or if I did my hospital bag one, but I showed you guys that I love it and I'm obsessed with it and sorry about the hair. Okay. So yeah, that I think a must have is a diaper bag. It does not have to be like that. It can be just a backpack, honestly, but I'm freaking obsessed with that thing. So if you need more info, it's called It's Your Ritzy and it's so cute. Um, the next thing that I think you definitely need with a newborn is a bouncer. And there's a couple different kinds. I think that this one's the best. Um, just one that's super simple. This was gifted to me. I didn't buy it, but I'm obsessed with it because it fit her when she was like just like baby baby and then it still fits her now and she's three months and she's already like over 12 pounds so I mean this thing just grows with you so it's just one of these normal ones um I know that there's cute ones that have like cute inserts for when they're smaller and then like you can kind of take them out I think but this one's just a standard um bouncer and it works super well I really love it so um, yeah, again, that was gifted to me. I didn't buy it. So um, there's definitely like other ones that are cute too, but that's just what worked for us. I also was gifted this other one right here that I love so much. Um, it is so freaking cute, but this one is more for the age that she's at right now because this incline is way too much when they are just born. Like they can't really hold their head up a ton. Um, so this is like a little bit too advanced. There are these little side notches right here, so you can adjust this um, and move it. I think right now we have it set higher because she sits up more. So you can be set up like this much or like back this much, but this much still with the amount that it goes down right here, it's just not, um, you wanna get one that's kind of flat because they can't, they just, they can't hold themselves up when they're so tiny. So anyways, yeah, you just, well, you want one that's kind of a little bit more flat. At least I did. That's worked for me. That's what worked for us. Um, the next thing on the list is an activity mat. So this can really be any different kind. There's some that make noise. Um, I like my friend has one that the little like feet. It's like a little piano, so they can kick it and stuff. But when they're just born, it really doesn't matter. Um, I think zero to three months, it's fine to just get one that doesn't make any noise and just doesn't have any sounds. Um, this is the one I have. It was also gifted to me. So. Um, I went ahead and hung these stars at the top. I don't know if it came with toys before, but when I got it, it didn't have any. So it just has like different colors. It's just super cute. Um, again, I think any activity I mat would work. I think a blanket on a carpet would work. Um, so I, that's definitely something that's, I think, essential. But um, 
not like you would die without it. I think that you could figure something out for an activity mat, but I think you just need to have like, for example, we only have hardwood in our living room, so that's perfect because we can put a blanket below it so it has a little bit of cushion, but then she has somewhere that she can just lay. So yeah, that's, I mean, for us, I loved that. <laughs> um, the next thing on my list is going to be the baby bath. I'll have to show you which one I have later, but it's just one of those standard ones that are so awesome. Um, she fit in it. That was the same thing with the bassinet. Like I've seen other little bath different things, but that one she fit in it when she was newborn and she still fits in it. So it's one of those things where I think it was like the perfect, um, just the perfect size for when they're so tiny because a lot of things are just too tiny or too big for them when they're so tiny. So, um, yeah, I think that a, a baby bath is definitely one that you have to buy that they're safe in. Um, obviously, we had to hold her up, but she didn't like slide out of it or anything, so that was awesome. Um, the next thing is baby washcloths. So, okay, here's the thing. I'm obsessed with like, this is another one of them, is these muslin blankets. People always talk about burp cloths um but honestly i think that if you have these like muslim blankets like this this goes really big but it's just like a muslim they're called muslim blankets and basically we used these for burp rags we used these to we still do um not for burp rags but um we use when she was really little and she was using a bottle a lot we would use them a ton for just spit up clean up whatever um these are really great to just put like two of them in her car seat with her just to have a little blanket um when it's colder out she was born in the winter so i had to have her bundled like all the time they're called sometimes they're references muslim swaddle blankets but i don't think these are meant to swaddle they're not stretchy they have no give they're just really honestly the best for like cleaning up messes um having just to lay them down on i mean we never use a changing pad we always just change her right on our bed and so i just put one of those down or one of these this is another one of my essentials is these little receiving blankets um, they're just, these ones are tinier, so they're just a little blanket, but honestly, these are so awesome for just, like, if they throw up, grab one. If they need changed and you need to lay them down, lay them on this. It will soak it up if they pee or for something while you're changing them. Um, you can use them just as a little blanket when they're sitting in their bouncer. I mean, they can be used for anything. They're awesome. So those two types of blankets, I think, are so essential. It's not even funny. I also put on the list these little... Um, I thought I brought a couple, yeah. So just any type of little baby washcloths. These can be used as washcloths when they're taking a bath. They can also be used, I know when we were giving her a bottle a lot at the beginning, they were great to just put right under her chin like this and catch all of that extra like bottle that slides out of their mouth because you know that happens. Um, so those are awesome. Freaking love those. Um, another thing on my list is the... I want to go in order because I'm scared I'm going to forget something. So, blankets, blankets, blah. Okay, so Dr. Brown's bottles. Aaliyah was taking a lot of bottles at the beginning just to get her weight on and just learning the ropes of breastfeeding. Now she's completely breastfed. She hasn't had a bottle for like over a month, but um, when we were doing bottles at the beginning, we were almost doing, I think, more bottles than breast, and these are awesome. So, basically, they just have this little inner part. It just helps with, like, extra air, extra gas, extra everything. Um, you can still shake them, so I don't recommend, like, when you're putting bottle in to just, like, shake, 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 like a sh crap ton because there's literally like so many bubbles that happen but um what we did is we would just do like a cup of um hot water in just like a coffee mug and we would heat that for a couple minutes and then we would just set this inside of it inside of the hot water from the microwave um and then it would just heat up enough and you can just i would do the water first and then i would put the formula in once the water was like warm and then I would just go like this and it really helped that she wouldn't get a ton of bubbles or like gas so these are really awesome 
Um, I know for babies with colic, these are always recommended. So yeah, they're super cool. Um, another thing in regards to bottles, just because there was a time when bottles were literally our everything, um, so I think these are really in, in, important to include, is baby bottle brushes. So this is my favorite thing ever. I think it's so awesome. It's so cute. It's so aesthetically ple pleasing. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's so cute and it's so handy. So basically these are little bottle brushes but they look like little cactuses. So there's a big one like a normal one that you need a standard one. There's a very thin one that you can get into because for example like um, these little bottles have little pieces that you have to disconnect. So like this piece for example this part just goes right I mean right through it. It's awesome. So that is it's cool that they have a really, really thin one, I think. Um, then there's also this one, so just a rounded one like this. And then there is just this one. So this one is my most used. You can tell it's a little, um, yeah, you don't really want to see that zoomed in. <laughs> just kidding. But um, yeah, this little guy's a bit torn to shreds because I used this just for like the nipple part of the bottle all around, just a ton. So. Um, another thing that is by the same company, so this is called a company, it's called Boons, so it's B-O-O-N-S, oops, sorry, I had to make the cactus cute, um, but yeah, Boons, Bottle, whatever, they have a bunch of different things. This is another one of their products, it's a drying rack, and I highly recommend this, you probably see them everywhere, but honestly, this thing works so stinking good it's so nice to just have a place that's designated for bottles there's so many little pieces to bottles that you have to clean when you're cleaning multiple a day it just makes it so nice to have a place to put them on so i definitely highly recommend that um i have this sitting here i didn't have it on my list but i love to keep just one of these little um water bottles i think this is super essential to have in a diaper bag if you're doing bottles because then you have fresh filtered water with you wherever you go you don't have to be like oh my gosh can i borrow water or you know not know like if the place you're going has filtered water because for bottles you really do want to use filtered water um it's definitely a lot less toxic than using tap water for a baby bottle so um obviously if you're gonna heat the water um if you're gonna boil it then that's fine but for me just barely throwing it into the microwave until it's warm i would prefer to use um filtered water so and then the next thing i have is bibs pacifiers so i did get a lot of these pacifiers um i have about four different ones of this kind um this is not bibs this is itsy ritzy or no yeah, yeah, yeah. These are Itsy Ritzy pacifiers, so they look like this. Um, these ones, since the tip is like this, it's very hard for a new baby to be able to keep it in their mouth. So they will suck on this. It's very soft. These are great. Um, but I just found, and I have um, a best friend who also has found, that these ones just work a lot better for little babies. Like this, these are called Bibs pacifiers. They're like this. Sorry, I'm like, they're like this. Um, these ones are just on this little plastic part. So these ones are all silicone. They're very um, flexy, just very nice like that. So I do like these. Um, but just as far as the nipple difference, this one is a lot easier for the babies to keep inside of their mouth. So when they're sucking and then they fall asleep, if they wake up, this one has popped out. It's gone, nowhere to be found. This one, usually if their lips are still kind of closed, it has stuck in there. So it just works a lot better when they're sleeping, when they're trying to soothe themselves, when they're taking naps, just different things. I have just found that these have been literally one of my lifesavers and I am so excited that I got these. So they do cost a little bit more. I mean, it's like 16 for two of them, but honestly, we only need two. We use one that doesn't have a clip for daytime, or I'm sorry, for nighttime because I don't like leaving one of these strings in there at night. Um, and then for the daytime, we just have one of the same kind. It comes in a pack of two, so of the bibs, and we have it with one of these. She currently has it in her mouth right now, so I couldn't bring that one, but yeah. And then another thing that's essential is definitely one of these. So it's just like a clip where you can clip it onto um, either yourself or herself, onto the clothes, his self, whatever, um, and just have it there because when the pacifier does fall out of their mouth, 
it's going to go on the floor unless it's clipped to something. So I just think that one of these pacifier clips is so essential and I just love having them. So I have quite a few different ones. Shameless plug, I also make these. So um, yeah, this is one of mine that I did and they are so fun. And if you look on my Insta, you can find that little link over there. <laughs> Coco Bunny Cole. And then another thing that I have on the list is going to be aqua for cream where did i put that so this Aaliyah hasn't had any diaper rashes which i think is awesome i think the reason for that is because we change her often um i think that if you leave them in for too long or just if their skin reacts that just hasn't happened but i can definitely see that happening um to babies then yeah it is a little bit hard to deal with so this has been a lifesaver for us even a lifesaver for her neck so even just last night um after bath we put this on her neckline because these little babies are so stinking cute. They have all this little neck roll, neck thing. Aaliyah's only breastfed, so she has less like spit up than a bottle fed baby at this time. I remember when she was bottle fed, it was like just running all over her, but breast, it seems to just like stay in their mouth. They really just suck it in. I don't think that she has a lot that like comes out of her mouth, but for some reason, the girl has like little milk curds just in her little neck roll sometimes. So definitely this helps to not get a rash. We clean it often every single day and she still somehow manages to get a little bit of red right in her neck curls because I don't know how but milk somehow gets in there so whatever um but yeah I think that that cream is awesome I put it on and it's literally like gone in seconds so not actual seconds but you know it works fast um another thing that I think is so essential is nail clippers oh my god and I specifically I like these ones um, so it has this little, I don't know if I can get it to zoom, but it has this little window here so that when you're cutting it, you can see the nail through the window and then clamp down because it scares me when I can't see what I'm doing and I don't want to cut her. So this one, the brand is Frida Baby. So I really like this one. I have several different kinds of clippers that I was gifted, but this is by far my favorite because I like to see what I'm doing and it just feels safer, honestly. Um, because cutting their nails is hard, especially when they're awake. Um, this is another Frida Baby product. I won't zoom in too close because it has a couple boogies in there from a little earlier, but basically this thing is a lifesaver. So normally you would have one of those um, baby nose things um, that look like this. So this is like the standard, put it in their nose. I always just go like this. Um, and then put it in suck it but that like freaks her out and it's really intense and I don't know why but this thing just does not really work for us <laughs> oh with the nail clippers also from Frida Baby came this sweet little like filer which I'm obsessed with you can buy like big packs of these too but um, I mean one lasts forever I don't know how much you're filing your baby's nails but a file lasts for a long time I feel like so the one that comes with it is fine but yeah this just helps if you can't get one if they're just awake or freaking out or you just need to file something down you can just use these and they're awesome um, but yeah instead of using this thing I love the Frida baby um, oh my god what's it called again the nose Frida so you just put this into their nose and then you suck off of this side it actually normally does have a little part that you suck on um, but I lost mine I have no idea where it is so I just suck on the tube itself it doesn't matter it still works but you just put this right in their nose suck mama sucks whatever and then the boogers just fly into this little tube and they can't actually get through to you because there is a filter right here so whatever you know mom life um, but even if I did eat her booger I'm sure it would be fine right um that's so disgusting but it's it's okay I'll, I'll just edit that part out um yeah the next thing that I have on here is a humidifier I'll show you that later also her car seat cover I will show you later um because it's in the wash um a car seat mirror Oh my gosh, you guys, I cannot even imagine driving without a car seat mirror because I have to see her when I'm driving, especially when I'm by myself. It's just a little mirror that you hook right above their car seat. When you look in their, your rear rear mirror, you can see them in their seat. It's awesome. Just a lifesaver. Look it up if you don't know what it is, but I'm sure you do. Um, the next thing I have on the list is rattles. They don't really need a ton of toys when they're super small, I think. Um... They can't really hold on to anything they don't really know what's going on um i just have these cute little like bird rattles 
that are like this. I'm sorry, I keep squinting. I think I need to like go to the eye doctor after being pregnant. But um, I just have these little wooden beech wood, um, like wood that they can chew, suck on to for when they start teething, um, which Aaliyah's already starting, so that's great. Um, but this is another cute one. It's just a little rattle, soft, plush. She can grab onto it. She's starting to be able to. She just kind of like barely like holds it and moves around. It's really cute, but you really don't need a ton of toys when they're super tiny because they can't hold anything anyways. Um, nipple shields. I'm trying to like nursing pads. I don't know why I could not think of what these were called. I put the word breast pads on my thing. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, you know, nipple shields. They're basically, this is like a to-go back, so I can't really just like open it to show you, but um, basically you just open them. It's like a little circle like this. It's like a little towel. I should have, I was gifted a ton of um, nursing pads, so I really didn't like the fact that there was so much plastic with them. I would have preferred to get the reusable kind that you can just wash, but since I had them, I just used them. But next baby, I definitely will get the kind that are just reusable, so you can just throw them in the wash and stuff. Like a, It's like a cloth diaper, but a cloth nipple shield or whatever. Um, but yeah, I think those were super essential at the very beginning. I was definitely leaking sometimes, and it was nice to have that just as a little cover-up. But um, yeah, and then, oh my gosh, I forgot all about... I don't even know where it's at right now, but um, the the haka for the milk. So when you're breastfeeding on one side, the other side will leak milk. And so there's this haka that you just, it's, I don't even know how to explain it, but it's a little plastic that you just like hook onto the other boob. It catches all the extra milk and then you can save that. So that was definitely essential when I was first starting out. Um, I wouldn't say you have to have it, but it's definitely nice to have. I never made a freezer stash or anything, but um, when I was first starting out, I would use the haka and then I would save that milk. I would do a bottle with that milk. I would pump more. Um, I would, <sighs> whatever, but I just kept using the haka. I remember it's all kind of a blur, honestly. <laughs> like you get past that stage and you just try not to look back, but um, yeah, the haka helped me to just have extra to make a bottle of my own milk versus having to do like all breast milk sometimes when things were just not working. So um, the next thing is um, I put Lulu Swaddle. Um, it's called Lulu and Company. The, that's my favorite swaddle ever. I'm going to have to show you after. Of course, there's just so many things I don't have with me, but it's fine. But they also, Lulu also does, and I'll, I'll try to link this down below, but they have these little mittens. I don't know if you can tell how tiny this is, but it's literally so cute. Like, little tiny. My hands are not super big. Literally, like, the size of my finger. It's so little. Um, these ones are really awesome. So there's normally, like, different sizes. This is just a standard kind of mitten that you'll find in the store. The Lulu ones are smaller, and they have this part at the top where it just, like, cups around their... It's kind of hard to get on them sometimes, but they work so good. I swear they will not fall off. These kind, it's just too loose. You put it on, and they just mm, slip right out, so... I just think that the Lulu ones are amazing and I will say that for the rest of my life because their swaddles and their mittens are literally lifesavers to me. So um, another thing that you definitely or that I definitely am happy that I had was a wrap, a baby wrap. So um, we just have one of those long, this was also gifted to me. I just keep saying that, but I just, I say that because maybe I wouldn't have had the same things if I bought them myself, but I was gifted these things, so they're what I used, and they actually really worked, so, um, this is just a normal one that you wrap a million times around your body, you can look at a YouTube video to figure out how to do it, um, I don't think it's essential to have one of the kind that, like, you clip on, but I definitely think that that's, we're coming to a point where that's going to become essential, because I don't know how much longer we can handle only using this kind, I think it's going to be easier the bigger she gets to actually have one that has back support that you can just put them in. It, it supports you. There's straps, that kind of thing. But this is great for when they're super little. If you're just trying to do things around the house, just have a sec. Go on a walk outside and you don't want them to be freezing. It's great. So um, for what it's worth, it is, it is great for now. Um, another thing I grabbed that I didn't have on my list um, was towels. So 
I know that it's like the cute thing to have the towels that have like the little head that goes over like that, but it's not essential. I don't think that that's essential at all. I think it's cute to just do what we did was um, these we did buy. So I just found them at Ross, but it's just like a cute towel that's just designated for only the baby. So it's a full size grown towel. Um, very cute. I got it at Ross. I don't have a way to link it, um, unfortunately, but um, let me see if it says like a name of a company or something. So it says Casa Fina Home Collection. So yeah, K-A-S-S-A-F-I-N-A -S -S Home Collection. These ones are really, really cute. I wish that I had a way to just like link them at a store, but um, you know how Ross is. <laughs> so yeah, those I think are just I think it's just great to be able to wash her towels with her clothes, with her laundry soap, so that she doesn't have to worry about like any skin allergies or anything like that. We wash all of her clothes completely separate, um, which that is another thing I should link definitely as well, is just the Dreft Baby Laundry Soap. It smells so good, it's so awesome. Um, we have the little beads that you throw in, we have the liquid soap, and we have the spray for when there's like any type of stains, and it works really well. So yeah um let's see here yeah basically you just need a crap ton of stuff when you have a baby i guess this just seems like a lot but um these are just like really things that i seriously used so i think that they're worth mentioning you know um another thing that i put was like onesies um Aaliyah was born in the winter, so honestly, she had a onesie below her clothes at all times. I think a summer baby might be a little bit different because you might not be as afraid of them. Like, well, I guess I should say I'm from Oregon, so um, when it's cold, it's cold. <laughs> and then when it's warm, it's still a little breezy. So I don't know if I would have even done it without onesies in the summer, but um, there is definitely times here where it is pretty warm. So maybe summer would have been different, but... What I'm trying to say is in the winter with a winter baby, I had onesies below her clothes at all times. So I would put a onesie and then a shirt and then pants or whatever. I think she's waking up for sure. She's probably like, mom, where are you? Yeah, she is. <laughs> okay, so I'll finish this in a little bit, but um, yeah, onesies. Alright you guys, and then it's completely a different day now, but I just want to show you guys the bassinet that we have. Um, so we have this one, it's by, let's see, Mika Mickey, and then um, just, it's super nice, this part comes down, so this whole entire side zips, unzips on both sides, and you can just pull it down, this has been a lifesaver. Also, this is a changing pad, she uses it as a mattress, I know you're not supposed to do that, don't come at me. Um, but she was never able to roll over, but yesterday... Um, actually the day before yesterday she actually rolled over a little bit um, even though it was like a half of a roll she was on her side and went to her stomach I just decided that we're not going to sleep with that anymore so last night was actually her first night without that um, just because I don't want her to roll and then end up in one of these little sides even though I do usually stuff sorry um, a blanket right here so yeah and then the other thing on my list that I wanted to show you guys from before was this humidifier hopefully it's gonna focus for me but yeah so basically this one's just the one from um, Frida baby and it's awesome it works super well guys right, so and then another thing that is such a lifesaver has been this uh, little let's see what's it called diaper genie it literally works so good it's awesome you just put them into the top part right here I can show you guys um, you just put them in there they go down a little chute and they never are to be seen again so it's awesome and then this was the car seat cover that I was talking about so it's just this cute little thing um, she's actually in here we're about to run to the store <laughs> so she's like hi mom hurry the heck up <laughs> but basically whenever we go out I just pull this down over her um, and then just pop her into her little stroller and no one touches her or messes with her and then if we're walking around and she wants to be able to look out I just pop it up but yeah it's super nice just to have extra protection especially when she's sleeping so that people aren't like looking at her and being weird so anyways um yeah she 
Hey guys, alrighty, so I just wanted to jump on here really quick. I realized that I never made like an outro or said goodbye in my Baby Must Haves video because she had woken up and then I just kind of filmed separate clips afterwards. So anyways, just wanted to jump on here really quick, tell you guys good night. I hope that you have an amazing night um, and thanks for watching. Catch me on Instagram if you wanna see daily posts and more of this little tootie pie. <laughs> Alrighty, you guys, and then I just wanted to show you while I'm out here. So I would say that one of the must-haves would be this click-in base. I think that all of the Graco car seats and strollers come with this, but you just click it in and click it out, and it's the greatest. Hi, baby.